let's take a look at internal recruiting. Internal recruiting involves filling job openings with current employees or people employees know. Here we'll discuss internal recruiting sources, promotability ratings and managerial sponsorship, and the advantages and disadvantages of internal recruiting. There are two common types of internal recruiting, promotions from within and employee referrals. When it comes to promotion from within as an internal recruiting method, the organization has several options. We can use open, targeted, or closed recruiting methods. Open recruiting consists of advertising the job openly within the organization, and anyone who meets the qualifications can apply for the job opening. Targeted recruiting is pretty much what it sounds like. We do not openly advertise the position internally. Instead, we ask managers to privately nominate workers who they feel would be able to do the job that needs to be filled. HR then evaluates the candidates put forward by the managers and then forwards the list of the best candidates to the hiring manager. Finally, closed recruiting occurs when hiring managers have a need to fill a position and they communicate that need to HR. HR recruiters then search the organization's files for people who have the requisite skills and qualifications and send a list of such individuals to the hiring manager. One of the difficult issues the organization may run into if it chooses an internal recruiting option is the presence of a bona fide seniority system, meaning a system that gives preference to individuals with longer tenure in the organization. We can do some things within the organization to make internal recruiting processes go a bit smoother in most cases. We may use some other tools to assess promotability in our efforts to find the best qualified individuals within an organization. We can have each of our employees complete a self-assessment, and we can also ask peers to assess their coworkers for promotability. We can also request managerial sponsorship for a person to be considered for job opportunities through internal recruiting. In this case, we would ask managers to provide their sponsorship for an individual before that person would be considered for a promotion through the internal recruiting process. Possible advantages of internal recruiting include increases in organizational commitment, the internal recruit will be more able to learn about the big picture of the company, and the individual also has shown at least some interest in the organization. Further, the organization has existing knowledge of the applicant and a record of previous work, the organization can save money by recruiting internally because of lower costs, and internal recruiting is usually faster. Disadvantages include the pool of applicants being significantly smaller in internal recruiting and there'll still be a job to fill when all is said and done. Further, success in one job doesn't necessarily mean success in another. An external candidate may have better qualifications and current employees may feel entitled. We may create or perpetuate a strong resistance to change or stifle creativity and innovation because everyone in the organization, even new hires, are part of the old organizational culture. Understanding internal recruiting enables managers to make the best possible hiring decisions.